What's up, everybody? Today we're looking at the Vivitar Series 1 Zoom Macro on the Sony a6000. Okay, so here it is, the Vivitar Series 1 70-210 F3.5 Zoom Macro. And I got this one again, guys, at my local thrift store. I paid $6 for it. Now, usually my thrift store prices their lenses based on length. So a lens of this length, I'd expect to pay $10 to $20 for. Um, but they had it marked for $6. And I checked it out. The glass looked clean. No major cosmetic damage. So I went ahead and gobbled it up. Okay, so let's jump right in and take a look at the zoom range on this lens. It goes from 70 millimeters all the way into 210 millimeters, but it's able to keep that f3.5 aperture for the entire zoom range. Now, focusing distance on this lens, you're going to go from infinity all the way down to 2 meters, and this lens does have a macro function on it. Now, to get the lens into macro mode here, you're going to press the button and hold the grip on the side, press down until the macro words line up. Now I wanted to give you an example of what that minimum focusing distance actually looks like. So I went ahead and put a leaf out there and then filmed this with my iPhone and then at the same time filmed it with the A6000. And it just gives you an idea of how close you can get to your subject. Now the aperture range starts at f22 and opens up to f3.5 and it's got six aperture blades which is going to produce that hexagon shape bokeh. Now I believe this lens was made for many different mounts, but this particular one uses the Canon FD mount, so we're going to be using an FD to any X adapter. I like to use these KNF Concept adapters. I get these off of Amazon for about $15. And if this is your first time uh, mounting an FD lens, you just need to know that it has this extra switch on it. When you're mounting the lens, go ahead and leave that in the open position, and then after you get the lens on the adapter, go ahead and throw that lock switch down. And that'll give you control of the aperture on the lens. Okay, now that we have everything adapted, let's get this lens on the camera so we can go out and take some samples. And I should mention that this lens is six and three quarters inches tall and 2.2 pounds without the adapter. So it's not a light little lens. Now here's a quick example of the flare that you can expect from this lens. And then I went ahead and took some other samples out at the sports field. Now, a very special thank you to my daughter for that ukulele music. And I always like to leave you guys with a little betta fish bokeh. And if you guys like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you want to see more like it, go ahead and subscribe. And I always like hearing the comments. So leave a comment down below and we'll see you next time.